Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm happy to have you here. This time, we are going to be learning three ways of getting your crouch debt when you're making your trouser. Look at the trouser block. From this point to this point is the crouch debt. And I'm going to be teaching you three different ways of getting it accurately. The first method is to find the difference between the out seam and the in seam. Out seam is measured at the outer part of your leg from the waist down to the floor. And take note, it doesn't matter the length of the trouser that you're making, it could be short, three quarter, ankle leg, anything. But for you to get your crouch net, you have to measure all the way to the floor. That is our seam. For her, I have 42 inches. And for the inseam, you have to take your tape from the crouch down to the floor. And for this, I have 33. 42 minus 33 will give me 9 inches. And that is how you can get the crouch debt using this method. The second method, the person should sit on a flat surface like this, not a cushioned surface, a very flat surface. And then you measure on the side from the waist down to the surface. Can you see what I have is 9 inches. This is another very simple way of getting your crouch length. Especially when the person is not wearing a trouser, that you can easily measure uh, um, in, in seam. You know, you don't want the person to start raising up her clothes and all that. You can use this method and it is very accurate. For the third method, take the hips measurement, that is the hips circumference. Divide it by 4 and subtract what you have by, uh, and subtract 1 from what you have. I, I will say that again. Take the hips measurement, divide it by 4 and subtract 1 from it. Okay, so well, this is our hips measurement which is 40. When you divide this by 4, it will give you 10. 10 minus 1 will give you 9 and then you have your crouch debt. So you have your crouch debt. This method is good if all you have is a hips measurement and you don't have a way of measuring the person, you know, to have um, or the other measurement that you might need. You can just divide the hips measurement by 4 and subtract 1 from whatever you get and then you get your accurate crouch jet which you can use for your pair of trousers that will sit well on the person's body. So I hope you have enjoyed today's class and you have learned something. Please subscribe, like the video and share with others. And I want you to try these three methods and let us know your outcome in the comment section. Thank you.